I'm a molecular biologist. I um, finished a PhD in a molecular pathology field and uh, I'm head of the biotechnology development unit at the ICGB. Our group works on the development of the technologies for the production of biopharmaceuticals, biosimilars, and technology transfer to, to, to the industry. So when I received the project proposal, first of all, I look in the um, origi uh, original idea, I look at the novelty in this project, and I um, uh, then I go deeper into understanding of that project, and I, I try to, uh, to, to fit in the other requirements of the selection committee, like uh, the um, methodology, that the candidate uh, include in this project. So does this metho methodology is adequate for this project? So how the project is developed? Is the project, um, uh, does this candidate shows uh, enough um, uh, knowledge and the depth uh, in this subject? And of course, we look at the scientific record of the candidate. So the candidate needs to have original idea but that original idea has to come from his background. So I have to also evalu evaluate his scientific background. So his publications, the quality of the publications and the quality of collaborations in the previous projects. You have to structure very well this project so that it's easy to be followed by a reviewer. Uh, you have to be very clear about your uh, experimental design and also about uh, uh, finance and the budget because you have to clearly identify not just the idea but how you will develop that idea in sense in the experimental you in the good experimental plan but it also a good finance financial plan it's very important that uh, this applicant has um, uh, has strong support so what I'm looking inside is like, uh, is, this, um, um, is this idea feasible? Is this candidate alone with his idea? Or this candidate has, this project has a support from the institute or some other institution outside of his uh, home country. So this kind of support from the host institute is, uh, has to be personalized. So what we are searching, what I'm searching for, it's to have um, uh, commitment letters or to have the support letters that are very personalized, that, are, uh, that, that could be really the primer for the future fruitful collaborations, even after the project is finished. So if we talk about the selection for a PhD candidate, for example, I would say that, that every candidate for a PhD study has to have in mind that this is a, uh, this is a, this take, this ask a lot of commitment. So it's not just professional commitment, it's a personal commitment. If you are willing to spend your four times, in the four years in doing your PhD study, it means that you have to start it with your project proposal. So it means spend a lot of time to think about idea, develop that idea, develop well experimental plan, try to have a good budget, try to, if we are talking about budget, if there is a budget in, in that project, try to have a good collaboration, try to have a good supporting letter. So be, be determinated. So what we, we need, we really need a PhD student who has not just a good scientific background, but who has a great, persistence who has a great commitment and you can you can feel it and you can see it even through the uh, simple project proposal mm -hmm.